Oh, nice. No, I refuse to let you in. Yeah, we don't have that tonight, I don't think. Oh, my God. I don't think we have it now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good job. Good job. Good game. Good game. Does anyone else have uh, headphones that are not Bluetooth that they'd be willing to give up for the night? Anyone have non? Oh, yeah. We need uh, headphones that are not Bluetooth headphones. I could bring one next time. Yeah. I have this one we could plug in. It's got. I just yeah. got plugged in my. I could bring my my like gaming headset next time. Okay. Yeah. Hey Max, wait. I don't know if I'll be able to hear that. Wait. Hey Max. Okay, so I don't like Keeps falling down the side. I mean, if I'm not doing anything, I can run back. Because I'm not the first to. I want to. I live down the street of like these things. So. If you want to, you can. Yeah. But you don't have to. Okay, then I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so if this, this is a trial. Yeah, this like, is a trial. I'm not playing golf. I'm not playing golf. Here. Got Okay. Um, okay, so do you want to do, like, for real, for real? Or what do you want to do? Yeah, take this one. Can you hear Drew on Christopher's? Yeah. Yes. Can you hear me? Can you hear me when I'm not on air like this? All right.
So why don't uh, Chris and Robbie, you ready to, we're just going to get in spots. So you're like my producer. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. I'm going to spend your yourself on here instead of seeing it. I feel like. Yeah. yeah. No. I was just the test dummy. You like it like that? Okay. I feel I just don't. I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Who's the first one, Robbie and Brish or Robbie and Chris? Okay. Okay, technical team. Why don't you check your camera to make sure you're uh, positioned is how you want them positioned? Not this uh, <laughs> Oh, you can see that now. You know I don't, but... No. Sweet. You want to be my color, just like to the side? <laughs> no, this is a joke. We're going to play it. Oh, I hear the music. I hear it now, too, but very faintly. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see Alicia, Alicia's uh, camera? Interesting. Yeah, I don't see hers either. Max, this is just our trial, right? Can y'all talk? Can you see us now? Okay, hold on one second. All right. Oh. Chris, can you hear me when it's not over the speaker? <laughs> no, I'm saying that one might have to be muted. So we avoid that feedback. Here, uh, social team. Let's let's head to the other classroom and I'll pull up. Social team. Social team. Production squad. <laughs> it's. I mean, I can hear him just because we're proximity wise close. Can you hear me though, Max? I think that's the most important. For sure. Uh, Chris, unmute. Hello? Yeah, so we're going to have to turn off that one. <laughs> I think that will help. Um, Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? We won't hear that. We will. Can you guys hear me? At least you can. No one else can. But <laughs> true. She was the only one. True. Okay. 
I can hear him. I'm no feedback. What? What are you saying? I'm saying his uh, accent. Switch. Switch. Can you hear him? Good. Robbie, can you count to 20? Huh? Can you count to 20? Yeah. Oh, how loud? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we're good. Yeah. Chris, can you count to 20? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You're good, you're good, you're good. Oh, we're gone. Uh, we are on the Oh. Yeah. Wait, on here? Yeah, we are on the Oh, gotcha. Uh, all right, so, guys, what we're doing is a pre interview kind of thing. I'll go to Chris first and then to Robbie, just like. To like a minute to intro. Right. Hide behind his head. Yeah, so whenever you press like start match from your end, it should work. It, yeah, whenever you press start match, it should be on. It's going to be orange and it's going to be uh, blue. Just stay the same. Okay, you're orange and you're blue. Got it. Cool. The circle to select. Right? <laughs> um, <that's, laughs> like, so this is okay. Yeah, I just this. Oh, okay, I see that now. <laughs> and then you know how to play. On the Xbox. Okay, <laughs> so the same button. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much the same. Hmm? Oh, wait till you get old. <laughs> I keep telling my mom every time, ever since I started paying for my own insurance, the body's like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. It really is. <laughs> just wait, just wait till you hit 26 and you're off your parents' insurance and you're Sorry. like, oh, man. <laughs> uh, I'm always having a Chris, I need a nickname for you. Robbie's in the game. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I think. Come on, both of you guys are shooting games, right? Isn't that good? Charlie's in the game. Said everyone tried it. I don't know what happened. Did it? Is it? He wants to do. Is someone else working? Yeah. Looks like it, yeah. Yeah. I don't think you're supposed to chill anymore. In matching the uh, match settings for like two minutes or three minutes. I have no idea. Oh, now that I know, I'm just writing an intro. I can't do it. Robbie, what's your last name? Douglas. A U G L A S. Yeah. One S. And it was an Amtrans bagel. Amtrans bagel. And that's all I had on there. And like maybe three dried apricots. <laughs> that's <what's possible. laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I was thinking more winner, but I guess loser still time to get everything set up. We'll do loser then winner. Don't want to 
and doctor shit. Yeah. Clorox wipes. <laughs> I probably smoke that I enjoy now. And Hello and welcome to the Elon Comp 70 in class live stream tournament. Our competitors today include some of Elon's finest. I'm Drew Gentry. Our first matchup between Tinsy Pregnant Champion, Rob the Miller Douglas, and the KD Trophy Kid of Control to make it possible, Christopher A. So, Chris, I'm going to go with you first, and I just want to see how you're feeling going into this tournament. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly not too confident. I, uh... <laughs> 
I've only ever played this on Xbox, so this controller is a little foreign to me. Yeah, the controller size is a little bit smaller. You can kind of play a versatile or a big role in how you are able to succeed today. Uh, I think it will because I'm not very like not very good with my fingers. My fingers aren't very agile, so having a smaller controller definitely can slow me down a little bit. Talking about a lot of tactics when you're facing a worthy competitor and Rob the Builder. He's already won one of the class tournaments this year. Do you feel any pressure? Uh, yeah, there's certainly a little bit of pressure because he beat me in the first round of the Tenzi tournament, so I'm trying to get my vengeance here, but we'll see if that happens. First round match, I'm trying to even the series. Well, Chris, good luck to you. And that means I'm going to go straight to Rob. Are you feeling it any more confident going into this than you were the Tenzi tournament? Um, probably just the same. I haven't played this game since high school, and same with Chris. I've only played on Xbox, so we'll see how it goes. So two people out of their comfort zone, at least it evens the playing field a little bit for you, Rob. Uh, what is your mindset going into this? Um, I'm going to see if I can remember what I learned in high school and see if I can string that back. That's my plan. You always see that the simple plan of attack, but now you need to get this win. Uh, if you could go 2 and one and take almost already the game, slam, sweep, uh, what would that mean to you in this class? Uh, it would mean a lot. I think my parents would be very, very proud of me. <laughs> we're going to play games of what we're learning in college, so let's get ready to get uh, this game going. <laughs> yeah, same. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these players just really getting ready for the semifinal round one. Again, we have versus Robbie. Robbie out of New York, Chris out of Durham, North Carolina. Both these matchups have a Northeast or Southeast matchup in them and should be very exciting to see how this plays out. Luis, a professional streamer, not of Rocket League, but other ones, and has a chance to take on Rashawn in round two, or the second game of round one. Rashawn, not really familiar with the game, though. So, it's time to see who prevails in Z. Imagine the game sent the party thing. Yeah, I have no idea what to do. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yes, What is it? Um, custom game. Private match. Join. Join. Yes, the 270 Elon Elon.
Hey everybody, sorry for the technical difficulties. We had a little update issue on the streaming end, but we'll be right back shortly again with Chris versus Robbie. They won a round one, the semifinals, aka the final four. We'll be right back here with the ESP Rocket League Championship.
So what happened, everybody, is that the game updated in between our trial run and the start of our live stream. So we had all three devices have to update on the other end. So now we are waiting for the copying process to be done on Luis, or on Chris and Robbie's gaming consoles. And we will be right back in about five minutes when that is officially done and the live stream can get restarted. Hello, everybody. Again, I'm Drew Ginger, joined here by Luis Mueller. And Luis, when you're talking about the video game consoling and streaming in general, what goes into a player's mindset during these times? Well, if you're streaming in general, it's it's more of trying to keep the fans interacted um, uh, and recognizing what the messages are saying on the side and just playing to the best of your ability so you don't uh, necessarily get out of your your grind and out of your zone you want to give the fans a good performance um, and it's just kind of stressful in the sense of that you have expectations to meet from the people watching your stream and usually what kind of games are you playing whenever you're playing uh, online and you're streaming uh, I typically play Rainbow Six Siege it's a first-person competitive shooter uh, I play with my roommate Carson Blythe and we stream for about two three hours a, a stream and it, again, it takes a toll on you because you have to, one, keep up with the game that you're playing, and then you have to keep up with the fans on the side. So just with uh, a moderator or the producer keeping, with the sh keeping up with the stream instead of the players will help the players actually hone in on the craft. And then when you're talking about the esports as a whole, it's been a very large rise since the early 2000s, but it goes all the way back to the 1950s. Uh, what is your thoughts on how the game has developed or gaming has developed as a whole? Oh, it's, it's beautiful, honestly. I watch eSports uh, uh, on my free time. I watch Rainbow Six Siege uh, uh, Pro League, and I think it's amazing how easy it is to access through Twitch. It's free, and the way they make their money is through promotions through the game, at least Rainbow Six Siege does, and I think it's just amazing how they make it so accessible to the fans and um, all of their audience. And now you're going into round one here shortly against Brashan. Again, like I mentioned earlier, a New Jersey versus North Carolina matchup instead of a New York versus North Carolina matchup. What what are your things going? What are your thoughts going in? And here's some B-roll when you're looking at players like this of uh, the championships last year. What's going through your mind? I just think these guys are insane. I I, I cannot. I, I don't know how they do any of this. I can I could barely lift off the ground, let alone fly like they do. Um, but going into my first match. I, I'm a little nervous because I haven't really practiced much, and Brashan has been practicing. I see, I saw him playing on his mobile phone earlier. He was playing a game on his mobile phone, trying to get a feel for what Rocket League could be like because he hasn't played. Um, so I think I have the advantage on the experience side, but again, he's been practicing a lot more than I have. And we got a little practice warm up in ourselves. You beat me seven to six and shoot out in all aspects of it. But I had a little bit of comeback there. I almost got you. Were you nervous? Yeah, I was. And I couldn't I couldn't uh, lose to you when I have my opponent watching. So I had to try a little hard at the end there. I almost gave up the six to three lead, actually. Uh, so what I have to work on is my defense and just holding the lead. Yeah. Well, good luck to you, Luis. And I look forward to watching you play. Thank you. Well, next up, we're going to have Brashan over here shortly to join me for a pregame interview. He's on his way over. And like Louis said, Brashan not really used to playing, so he's got a little bit of practice going on here recently. Uh, as he's getting ready to join me, look at some of this B-roll going, the flying, the spin, everything just absolutely amazing. The control of the, uh, the controllers. And Brashan, you can scoot on in a little bit more. So last time you faced Robbie in the championship of the Tinsy tournament. Yep. Now you're going against Luis in round one. What is your mind going into this? Um, I'm definitely nervous. You know, this is a, a totally different game. I've never played this game before. 
Um, usually when I'm playing video games, it's more, you know, 2K, Madden. Uh, so this is completely different. But uh, I have been, you know, practicing, doing a little film on YouTube. So we'll see how it goes. And then when you're talking about playing on Xbox or playing PS4 or 2K or stuff like that, what system do you usually use? I use Xbox, but I am making a switch that I'm proud to say. Going to PS5 this up, uh, upcoming next month, so I'm proud to say that. I'm What's making, making you switch over? Uh, Xbox just they've they've let me down. Uh, downloads and uh, certain games like Spider Man that I love and I'm not able to play. Um, it, it's it's just a lot that uh I'm I'm definitely ready to make the switch. And you're looking at this where your name is being written over after you defeated me in the Tinsy tournament. Yes. What's going through your mind when you reflect at this epic matchup that you had? in the Tinsy tournament? Uh, you know, it was very competitive. You were great. Uh, it was my first time playing that game as well, Tinsy. Uh, definitely a lot of nerves going. Um, just a proud moment. And I think if we're being honest, I believe that Luis is the favorite coming into this tournament as he's played a lot of Rocket League or just video games in general. Uh, you beat the favorite in the semifinal rounds in the Tinsy and Katie. So now you're going to have to follow that up with yet another upset, maybe a Loyola Chicago coming out from you. Uh, what's your, what, are, what are you planning on doing, man? Uh, you know, I like being an underdog, you know. So uh, we'll see. I, I might have some tricks up my sleeve. But I will say if I get beat bad, you know, it was expected. But if I win, it wasn't unexpected. So leave it at that. Keep that mama mentality like it's you had in that shirt it's that sad. you wore during the Tinsy tournament. Well, Brashawn, good luck to you, man. I appreciate it. And you it. know I'll be rooting for you. Yes, sir. For it. Well, that's all of our competitors. You've heard from them as we're waiting the downloads to be complete. We'll be right back with you as soon as they are done, and we'll be live with the games.
Uh, Along with our technical difficulties, a lot of people around the country have been experiencing these things as well. Look at the tweets that are fl flowing in across the country. Why are my Rocket League servers not working? I've been waiting 10 minutes to get into a game now. Things like this are exactly why we have technical difficulties. As game one has already started, a quick goal for Robbie. A great start off to the exhibition. Yes, this is not part of the 2020 in-class tournament, but right off rip, Robbie off the glass and in after a present. Now, Chris trying to control the Robbie with it. Almost a own goal shot, but controlled by Chris and going to buy it. One one in 22 seconds. This You're going down. Great spin. You can probably have the start the trash talk now. One to one. Great view of the bars. Off to the race they go. Great collision at the front. Ball goes flying it over to the blue side. Robbie on defense. Misses a huge whiff there. Now Robbie trying to catch up back to the ball. You can see a lot control. As the flips and everything, not really saying it, but almost kicked back to the goal and controlled by Robbie and goal. 2 1. Now, as Robbie takes the lead, a great control off the back heel of that wheel and in off the wall for Rob the Builder. For those of you not familiar with the antenna toppers on. The orange vehicle, they are characters from Rick and Morty on the Lucas's car that is being controlled by Chris. But Chris, the shot off the top and a front flip in, and now the tie back up two to two. Just barely over a minute into this day. It'll be a long time. Yeah. Four remaining. This five minute game already. Four goals for the end of the minute. Defense is looking to be a premium here. Not a the common aspect, it seems to be, for the new gamers. A little high here, but now. Oh, Chris gets it, but all the goal by Rocky is Chris gets it anyway. <laughs> Robbie had a chance to clear it and failed miserably. <laughs> and goes down 3 2. And Z follow us on the Elon Sports Production Twitter, ESV270. We're back again with this exhibition at the tournament championships has been delayed the next week due to time restrictions on the live stream. And now Robbie Fong in a more dangerous hold down two goals with a minute. 27 seconds into this game. I'm screwed. <laughs> you can hear me saying, you're screwed. 
He knows that he's fallen into a dangerous hole, and if he cannot get out of it, if he goes down to three, it could be very difficult to come back from. But Robbie with the chip shot a little long, and has to play defense if rewind off the top of his corner, avoids letting Chris get an easy goal. Now Chris is well in that corner, offensive end. Robbie can't make the save, and Chris with a spectacular goal. You can see a blue on the way after the echo of the front flip in, and you can tell Chris really has control of this game. Chris is hustling, man. <laughs> a little hustle on the table there from Chris, and you can hear Rob saying he didn't think that Chris was going to but he's already fallen down into the trap. Now, Robbie with the chance. Off the top of his car, did it that time, just a little bit wide on the left side. Don't tell Bills fans that in the upstate New York. Why is that the thing in their state? And it's now down 6 to 2. Rock just falling down, down, and down. Chris just keeps rising, looking to become a favorite now with the biggest odd heading into the actual championships. Best thing for the hobby is this one doesn't actually count. Now they got an extra week of practice, game control, but we'll see how this one ends up in the round of an exhibition, basically. Great defensive play there, Robbie, not allowing the easy tap in from Chris, but this is on the wide open clear attempt, and oh, but Chris misses that one, now Robbie with the chance on the breakaway. Fast break on the left, going down, right down, Broadway, and then the New Yorker scores. <laughs> not coming back, it's over. <laughs> Probably not. And you can hear Chris saying you're not coming back to overs. Come down six to three. You should give up and double the score. Two twenty-seven remains in the game. The tip goes out into Robbie's possession, rolling up the right side. Great angle there. Now Chris with the clear off the backboard, but Robbie with the spectacular play oh. and goal. Robbie. He cuts the lead down to two, no celebration. Even a cool, calm, steady hand of architecture. <laughs> and Robin, you can see it on that side, just really collect what is going on. Chris on the new two, now a little wide on his side, but climbs the wall off of the top. Great bounce shot. Gonna try and recover here quickly. That goose really efficient. Misses wide left on this one. Going to get that who's now four. Get down the big way. Robbie makes contact on the ball, playing it into the corner, waiting for Chris to set it up for himself. And then Robbie with the tip. Hey! <laughs> it still goes back in off the top of the goal. Now only down one. Rob the Builder, a comeback for the ages. Rob Big Game, I'm going to give you a quick interview. How are you feeling after this little comeback? I'm sweating, it's close. Chris, I've got a little bit to hold on now. You're down, you're up one, but Robbie seems to have all the momentum. What do you remain in this game? Playing on that left side corner, Chris off the top of the cage. Setting up, Robbie's seeing if Robbie can really take advantage of the breakaway chance. A miss there by Chris. Gives him a chance with the spin. Collision. Back. And now Chris cleaning it. Oh. Robbie with the collision. Sending the ball into his own defensive end. Chris with an opportunity that could really put this game away to go up two goals, but Robbie with a good defense. Trying to make sure that he can have a chance in this final minute. One minute, and he's down. And he gets a solid contact. You can go check us out. And whoa, Robbie ties it up six to six. A great comeback. And you should see the reaction of those in the classroom. Chris seems a little bit nervous. All that confidence that he had going in six to two. Almost like a face spraying up one this series. Could not hold on. Now we're. Less than a minute remaining, he's got a chance to be them in the bottom right side and left side. I'll be on the left, he's on the right. And again, follow us on all social media, especially on Twitter. But Chris with a chance to win the game, 
back in his favor after a long scoring drought. Oh. This takes back the lead step to oh, six. And you can see the, you can see the frustration that he's had. He's not going to lose this game, even though it may have been an exhibition. I'm going to put the team on my back here. And putting himself on his back in that case. Chris is trying to gain possession. Robbie's trying to hold back everything he's got, trying to steal goal. But setting himself up in that situation and down by two. Chris is feeling a little bit of a relief in that situation, wiping that sweat away off that top right side of his face. And you can see the game is starting to fall away from Robbie. That spectacular effort in the second half of the first game from Bobby, but not probably not going to be enough. But always a chance that you can score multiple goals in only 10 seconds. Why do you Chris? Trying just to pull the ball out. 10 seconds remaining. And so the key thing to remember that if the ball is in the air, the clock does not matter. So Bobby can get a quick goal. Oh, and blown up, oh, and that's how he ends it. Demolished and boom. And down goes Robbie in the exhibition. It's over. Well, thank you, everybody. And you see Chris sitting there saying it is over. Oh, I'm going to go straight to you now. First off, I'm going to go to Bobby in this post exhibition interview. Bobby, um, you had a little technical difficulties, but what was the experience like for today? Uh, it was a lot of fun to play this game again. Um, definitely going to practice more for next tournament and uh, try to win next time. All right, well, Robbie, congrats on at least making a comeback and making it a game yeah. in the second half. That was so fun. Uh, but congrats, and we look forward to the tournament next week. Now, Chris, with you. Chris, you, came, you had a huge lead. You about blew it, but you were victorious. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, I counted him out once I got up, but I think – I was able to hold on to my lead just a little bit, take back the lead, and finish the game out pretty strong. After you finish out the game, you also were talking about earlier translating from an Xbox controller to a PS4 controller. How was that transition for you? I think it was pretty successful. I mean, the sticks are a little bit smaller, but I think the controls are pretty much the same, so it's pretty easy to, to get accustomed to it pretty quickly. Well, congratulations, Chris. If you have any words you want to say to the viewers, about next week, what should they know about you? I'm going to win it all. I'm coming for all of you. <laughs> we'll look forward to seeing what happens next week. And congrats again on today's exhibition victory. Well, again, my name is Drew Gentry. This is the COM270 Elon Sports Vision Rocket League Tournament. And we will be back next week on Monday. See you then.